I am Anil Kumar and in this video, which is 7th in our series of learning how to solve linear trigonometric equations, we will take up trigonometric equations involving double angle and triple angle, right? So we have equation like sine of 2x is equals to, let us say, square root 3 over 2 to solve. We could have equation as cos of 3x is equals to let us say 1 over square root 2 with a negative sign and we could also have equation as tan x let's say tan 2x is equals to uh, let us say uh, 1 over 2 okay so we'll solve these three equations we have taken x so so the variable is x for us so we'll say x i mean we'll say x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equals to 2 pi so that is the domain in which we have to find the answer. Now, domain is the main part here to look into. Question really is sine 2x equals to square root 3 over 2. Now, the domain of x is 0 to 2 pi. How about 2x? To find the domain of 2x, we have to multiply this by 2. So we get equation as or the domain as between 0 to 4 pi. Do you understand this? Similarly, for the second question, we have to multiply this domain by 3. So we get 3x is less than equals to, I mean greater than 0 and less than equals to 3 times 2, which is 6 pi. For tan, we will multiply this by 2. So we get 2x less than equals to 4 pi. So that is how first step is look into the domain. Domain is given to you for x and we have to solve for 2x or 3x modify the domain that is the first step now second step we'll solve them now one by one okay so let's begin by sine 2x first when we look at sine 2x equals to square root 3 over 2 we can very clearly see that we are looking for a solution which is positive positive means sine from the cost rule as you know should be in quadrants which quadrants quadrants 1 and 2 so we're looking for some answer here and there, right? So coordinate 1 and 2. Now when is this, what value of this angle will give us square root 3 over 2? One is we can use the calculator. The second is we can always use our special triangles whenever square root 3 over 2 is involved. So if I use special triangle, I will use 30, 60, 90, in which we know the sides are 1, 2, square root 3. Square root 3 over 2 for sine means we are looking for pi by 3 as our angle, right? So, so that is kind of base for us. Now, always first find related acute angle. So we will write sine of alpha equals to square root 3 over 2. And we say, well, alpha is equals to pi by 3. You could use calculator also to get this answer. Now we know alpha, the real answer should be written as what? But what is 2x, this angle, 2x, let's call this as theta. What is that 2x equals to? Now, since it is 2x, the domain becomes 0 to 4 pi. That means one circle is 2 pi, two circles. So for 2x, we can write down our solutions as 2x is equals to first x is the pi by 3 value, right? Then we go from here to this place, that is, this is 1 pi by 3, this is 2 pi by 3, that is 2 pi by 3, right? And then next circle, that means you have to come back after one full round. So when you go back one full round, you have to add 2 pi to this, right? So the next set is add 2 pi. When you add 2 pi, that is as good as adding 6, right? So it is 6 plus 1 as 7 pi. So 7 pi by 3 and and then 2 pi when you add to this, it becomes 7, 6 plus 2, 8 pi by 3, right? So we are adding 2 pi. So that is 2 circles. Do you understand? So these are 4 different solutions for us. What is x equals to? You have to divide each by 2. So we get x equals to pi by 3 divided by 2 as pi by 6. 2 pi by 3 divided by 2 will give us 2 pi by 6. 
similarly we have 7 pi by 6 and 8 pi by 6 you can check that x values are indeed between 0 to 2 pi you got the idea right so we get four different solutions for sine 2x now in this particular case cos 3x equals to minus 1 over square root 2 we have already changed the domain from 0 to 2 pi to 6 pi for 3x since cos value is negative for us we expect the angle to be in which quadrant it will be in quadrant 2 and 3 right since the cost rule indicates that cos is positive in quadrant 4 and 1 sine is in 2 tan is in quadrant 3 now when is cos equals to 1 over square root 2 so first step is find the related acute angle so we have cos of alpha equals to absolute value of this which is 1 over square root 2 so that gives us alpha as pi by 4 right so in this angle it is pi by 4 that is the alpha when cos is 1 over square root 2 we are actually looking for minus 1 over square root 2 and therefore the angle 3x should be equals to minus will be in quadrant 2 or in quadrant 3 so here it is pi by 4 2 pi by 4 3 pi by 4 right 3 pi by 4 and here it is pi plus pi by 4 which is 5 pi by 4 5 pi by 4 now these two values are in 0 to 2 pi we have to go two more rounds so add 2 pi to this 2 pi means add 8 8 plus 3 is 11 so 11 pi by 4 add 2 pi means 8 8 plus 5 13 pi by 4 and then one more round so add 2 pi so 8 plus 11 will give us 8 plus 11 is 19 pi by 4 add 2 pi plus 2 pi means 8 plus 23 that means 21 pi by 4 so these are six values for cos 3x we get six values do you get the idea so these are all values for 3x solution is for x so you divide each by 3 so when you divide each by 3 then what do you get so this one will be 3 pi by 12 I could also write pi by 4 in this case 5 pi by 12 let me write 5 pi by 12 11 pi by 12 11 pi by 12 13 pi by 12 13 pi by 12 and this will be 19 pi by 12 let me write 19 pi by 12 and this will be 21 pi by 12 so these are the answers as exact values for the given equation and I hope you understand and appreciate how the number of answers change when the angle is not just x or theta right so the reason for this is if it is sine 2x then what do you expect then within 0 to 2 pi we have two sine waves we have sine waves which are horizontally compressed so we have two sine waves so you are looking for a positive value that means if this is square root 3 by 2 then these are the four solutions correct similarly cos 3x means we have three waves one wave two wave and three waves right so for three waves if you're looking for a negative solution negative value of minus 1 over square root 2 you will get these solutions do you see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these are these six solutions for us now let's look into tan 2x now in this particular case how many solutions do you expect now tan is positive in these two quadrants correct so we are expecting two solutions in in one circle so in two circles we are expecting four solutions so you expect four solutions right so what are these solutions so let us first find the acute angle as we have done for all so we say tan of alpha equals to half or alpha equals to tan inverse of half we can use calculator right so we say shift tan inverse 1 divided by 2 bracket close equals 2 alpha equals 0 
So that is this angle, alpha. We are looking for positive answers. So one of the answers for 2x will be 0 0.463. The other answer will be this one, correct? Pi plus this angle. So we'll do pi plus the answer equals to. So we get 3.605. Do you get the point? But these are two solutions within 0 to 2 pi. 2x should give us one more round. Do you see that? So to these solutions, we will add pi. So let me add pi to this one first. So we'll do plus pi equals to that adding pi 3.14 to this 6.746. And let me add pi to this. That means we can add 3.14, right? But let's use the exact value. Plus 0.463 equals to 3.6, right? So let's round our answers to, well, let me write first 0, 4, and then we'll round our answers to one decimal place. So 2x, we are expecting four answers. x is equals to, we'll divide each by 2. So 0.463 divided by 2 equals to, in decimals, 0 0.23. Okay, let's write down to two decimal places. 3.605 divided by 2 equals to, in decimals, 1.80. Then 3.604 divided by 2 equals to, in decimals, 1.80. Oh, we got the same answer. There's something wrong. We'll check this. Okay. And then we have 6.7. Okay, let's do that. 6.7. 4, 6 divided by 2 equals 2 in decimals 3.373 3, right so we will add pi so we have missed one answer here let's add pi to uh, 6.746 since the time period for tan is pi right so we will do 6.746 plus 3.14 that is the value of pi so we get a decimal value of 9.8 here, 9.8. And we'll divide 9.8 by 2. Dividing by 2, we get our answer as 4.9. So 4.9 is the other answer. I repeated one, okay? So that is why we got uh, one less answer. So that is how we can get different solutions, four different solutions for tan x equals to half, right? I hope with this you understand clearly that how can we find solutions when an equation is given to us where the angle is not just x, when it is x is 2x or 3x. The number of solutions will change as we have seen in this particular video. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.